Big Sean, the best in the business. I'm yeah. so glad to see you once. It's Thursday. Always good to see your face. Absolutely. They're fired up here at Cheyenne High School. Get the season kicked off. Both teams, unfortunately, because of remnants from Hurricane Hillary, had last week's games postponed. So they're finally ready. All the practice in this offseason, all the conditioning, time to play some ball, Kenny. Here we go, Stevens. Shapiro kicks this ball. is out of bounds and will give Sunrise Mountain really good field position. Um, we should, it should be a fun game to watch. Uh, for, for Sunrise Mountain, Chris Sawyers loves to go four wide receiver sets, loves to go up tempo. He's got three really good tight ends, though. He's going to be playing a double tight end set. He's got a big, big offensive line. Anytime you can go 12 personnel, you know, that gives you a lot of advantages. You mentioned the size of the offensive line, the Martinez brothers, both 6'5", 265, one and Leonardo twins that anchor that offensive line. But this is Chris Sawyer's second stint as the head coach here at Sunrise Mountain. He's coming off of a first-round playoff loss to Coronado. He wants to build on that this year. High snap, first play of the game, the pass. Uh, Reddick, that is incomplete, out in the flat looking for Miles Janelle. I thought they'd really get in between those tackles and use that offensive line. We're going to go here starting lineups. This is the Honda, Las Vegas Honda dealer starting lineups. As you see, Elijah Reddick, the quarterback, Abbott, Janelle, wide receiver, Cunningham at running back in that big offensive line, Rice, Suarez, Nash, the two Martinez twins. Uh, Juan and Leonardo will be talking about them a lot tonight. Yeah, and you mentioned Coach Sawyers wants to spread you out. He wants to make you defend the field sideline to sideline. But this offense is going to go as Cunningham drives the ship. Tremendous running back for the Miners. Can't wait to see him actually touch the football this afternoon. Yes, he had a big year last year. And there's the Cheyenne Desert Shields defense uh, under Frank Galvin, second-year head coach for the Cheyenne Desert Shields. Very excited about the season. Uh, Reddick rolling left, a short pass, a screen, and that is to Asajay Cunningham, but well defended by the Cheyenne Desert Shields. Yeah, you, sp you spoke about the Desert Shields defense, Kenny. Much maligned. Gave up 293 points last year. But Coach Galvin says he got some things fixed. He thinks it's going to be a much better unit. Way to start the year for us in the three and out. I think a lot like we saw last week, Canyon Springs, under a new head coach last year, didn't have a lot of time. But once you get to know your players and put your system in, it does make things a lot easier. And that's what Frank Galvin feels. His systems are in place on both sides of the ball this year. Right there. Right there. Stop. And as we mentioned, a punting situation here. That's number 10 back deep for Cheyenne. Isaiah Rivera Kyle to receive the punt. And that is a high punt. Now a very fair catch at the 36 yard line. And that's where Cheyenne will take over first and 10. The Honda Pilot is the official vehicle of Thursday night lights. Not to mention Friday night dates, Saturday morning errands uh, for, for all parties. Uh, you know, Michael Williams was under center. Very rarely do we see that anymore. Everybody's in the shotgun or the. Now in the shotgun. He is back in the shotgun. Williams, a quarterback, right beside him. Number zero, Treasure Harris. And Harris gets the football on second down. A nice gain. Out to about the. Coach Galvin talked about Trevor Harris and what he means to this year's football team. He's going to give him an opportunity to be great. He thinks if he can get him in the open. And wear that defense out with Trevor Harris. Low snap. Williams takes it. Quick release, and it's intercepted. Dario Starks, what a grab. And Starks is going to take that down the sideline and into the end zone. A touchdown and a pick six. Second drive of the game. Tremendous interception by Dario yeah. Starks. You know, you spin all offseason with your hands in the right. You're trying to strengthen that grip. That's just a tremendous job of high pointing the ball, having strong hands. I don't actually see the block in the back, but I'm going to trust the referee on this. Here's Elijah Reddick. Takes the snap, handoff to Cunningham, and Cunningham's got some room to run. A lot of room to run. I see a flag on the field. Cunningham is into the end zone for a touchdown. Fennick at quarterback. Takes the snap, high snap, inside handoff. Defended well by first quarter. We've had two touchdowns called back already. Short little inside pass to the wide receiver. A short game. Fourth and one. Here we go. And up, up the middle, and that's going to be a first down. A big gainer that's involved, and he gets the first down. That is a CSN first down. And here we go with the hurry up. 
Bennett handoff again up the middle, but well defended by the Cheyenne defensive front. Yeah, big Titus Teo in there to make with this football team, but he knows they're going to get better every week. That's the that's an RPO right there for you, and that's a big game by the quarterback, and he's going to get in the end zone for a touchdown. Eliza Reddick uh, sold the, the handoff. There is a flag. Handoff. There is a flag on the field, though. Did. But this actually shows the ability for uh, Mr. Reddick and maybe, you know, Chris Sawyer is the head coach there at Sunrise Mountain as he tries to get it, his quarterback comp. Athletic. Played wide receiver last year. They tried to get him to play quarterback. That inside handoff. Lou Pelay. The yard line here for the Miners. Little trickery. He had already posted it on Hunter. Oh, yes, he did. And rolling left a short pass. This is Abbott, and Abbott is down to the as well. So Reddick hands off to Cunningham, and Cunningham is out at the one. Here's Reddick gets the snap, handoff, inside handoff, and that big offensive line. Deal for teams that run the spread system. And that's just a great run by Cunningham, but there were guys free because generally a spread is exactly what it says. You spread the defense out, but you don't protect your edges. So when you get down in these confines. Dogs kick it up. It is wide left. Here's Michael Williams, the quarterback. Low snap, picked up by Williams. He will run it left and be taken down for a short loss. Here's Michael Williams, the quarterback. Low snap, picked up by Williams. He will run it left and be taken down for a short loss. A loss of about one. Again, that center snap and the timing of the play. You brought it up last week talking about that. that it's, it, it messes up the timing when the snap is off. It does. And Liam Creek, the center this year, makes the snap handoff up the middle. I believe this is it's pretty good. Big 72. Ronnie Jackson there, anchor in the middle. And you see 62 coming around, cleaning it up. Nice job their defense has done tonight. A interception and then forcing a punt. This ball is tipped into the air. I guess we saw the athleticism, but he's really struggled to locate the football early in this game. Two-step drop. Looks, he is pressured. He's going to be taken down and sacked. Yes, Samuel. Uh, a great block by Cunningham initially, but just one too many coming from the. Yes, Samuel. Uh, a great block by Cunningham initially, but just one too many coming from the. That they were in. <laughs> Pump and pour a terrible purchase any amount of fuel and get a free. Yes, sir. Okay, just go out of there. Okay. Get in there, get in there. Hey, I mean, I'll, I'll get in there, get in there, Jenna, okay? Run hard, hold the ball. Okay, then we're going to come back. Hey, get a good snap in, okay? Get a good snap. Coach Galva definitely had a message. He is the offensive coordinator. He does call the plays. That's why I told him we're not going down. They will spread it out. They will also use the eye formation on defense. Sunrise Mountain plays a 4-2-5 defense. Their defense quarter, Logan Rollins, doing a nice job tonight. The offense is playing just one running back and using four wide receiver sets. And the handoff up the middle. Wow, a big hit. Sunrise, pure aggression. I mean, he met Treasure Harris in the back. He was like, not so fast, my friend. Williams under center, takes the five-step drop, he throws deep, he's got a man, and a little separation, this is incomplete. That man was Khalil Burks. Devontae Foster with the breakup. And we know older brother was one of the best players on the team last year. This is off the side of this. Absolutely, and his knee was down. If we had instant replay, that ball would be back at the spot of the kick. Number 68. Oh. We got him on that. Holding. 
offense. Number 68. Ten yard penalty will remain first down. One of those big offensive linemen. Yeah, Kenny, we're working on a 45 minute first quarter. Yes, we are. Last week was 40, <laughs> 42, and we thought that was the record. <laughs> We are surprised each and every week. I'm going to mark that off out to the 41 yard line. That's a big here. penalty. That really pushed them. It back. is. Yeah, it was about a seven or eight yard gain by Reddick. All these penalties, they can't really get that up tempo offense going. A beautiful throw of football, but that's going to be intercepted. Yes, it is. Intercepted by the Desert Shields. He was down. Lathan the Priest. Number one. Yeah, 5'10", 160 pound junior. Just an overthrow by Elijah Reddick because he had his wide receiver running open down the seam. He's making the right decision, so you can tell Reddick is comfortable and accurate right now throwing the football. Had a lot of conviction in that throw. Like, I, when I'm watching him throw the football, I felt like he had an open man. Jacob he had, Abbott was open. Yes, he had two wide. Why are we Michael up? Williams, little swing pass. That's out to Harris. And that is taken down. Number four, Sajay Cunningham on the play defensively. Well, Sean, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned here on my LBTV. Sunrise Mountain 6, Cheyenne 0. That was, you heard me say that was trips. Everybody else ran purple. Number 22. No, I'm talking about two plays. Oh. Tonight's Keys to Victory were brought to you by Centennial Subaru, home of Love Promise. Your next adventure starts at Centennial Subaru. Visit CentennialSubaru.com for more information. Yeah, very big. Liza Reddick takes the snap, rolls right. It's a pitch and a reverse left and open field and out at the five. Well, the oh, my bad. That's Reddick. actually Josh Abbott. Yeah, Jake, Jacob Abbott. Jacob Abbott. Abbott out at the four for a first down. I think Coach Sawyer said, we need to get back. Oh, my bad. That's Reddick. actually Josh Abbott. Yeah, Jake, Jacob Abbott. Jacob Abbott. Abbott out at the four for a first down. I think Coach Sawyer said, we need to get uh, handoff in hit right away. Jonathan Lowe. And a great job defensively. Number big number seven. Cameron, seven. Cameron Rod Anderson with the initial pressure. And then Jonathan Lone and him, or maybe even come back Abbott on that little reverse to the other side. I think it's third and one from the one, and this handoff is straight up the middle, and a great job of the Cheyenne Desert. Had a seven-yard run, but now three straight runs up the middle, and the Desert Shields have to come back Abbott on that little reverse to the other side. I think it's third and one from the one, and this handoff is straight up the middle, and a great job of the Cheyenne Desert Shields defense. Their front four, outstanding job here. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted... If I Reddick takes the snap, rolls right. Desert Shields defense is up to the task. And they come up with a big stop. He is fired up. This Cheyenne defense is fired up. And we're fired up to be here. All hustle right there. Backside, defensive end, running the play. Coach Galvin kind of find a little recipe that works. And that's getting Michael Williams involved in run. Uh, I'd like to see him do a little bit more of that here on this drive. Handoff is up the middle. Out to... And the ball's on the ground. Fumble all the way out to the 17 or 8. Mentioned Treasure Harris, too. And, and we finally popped one and got in the open field. But again, man, that you, ball security equal what, Kenny? Job security. Absolutely. You got to get that ball tucked away and protected. Well, he got through, and you're right. It was a big run, but stripped away. By the miners and they zero. You got yeah. a lot of Cheyenne defenders at the line of scrimmage. Everyone up. <laughs> Everyone gonna run the football. Two step drop. Reddick looks, gets rid of it in a hurry. This is incomplete. There's Coach Chris Sawyer. Oh, and the pressure on Thompson, and he is sacked, taken down at the 32. How about this defense, Coach? In pressure. If you can handle it, fine. But we're a lot of guys right at the line of scrimmage. If you see, there are multiple guys running free at the quarterback. And, you know, Christian Thompson is like. Michael Williams, quick release, short pass. Gain of about two. We got it. Schematically, it's good to get him out of the pocket, get him on the move. 
If you can okay, see, he looks really can comfortable throwing the ball. They really back to the eight yard line. Rolling right, throws, complete out to the 20. That oh, what a fumble. This ball's loose and it's recovered by Sunrise Mountain. This is a great throw by Williams. And again, guys, if you're watching this game, get that ball secure. Job security equals, I mean, ball security, security. equals job security. Yep. When you're in trouble when it's traffic around you. Get two hands on the football. You see how that hand comes off as he's trying to stiff on the guy? A sportsman like Cheyenne, number 66, 15 yard penalty. Almost all of them, and this is a great job because, I mean, we've seen Abbott in the open field. He's not an easy guy to get on the ground, but confident, secure top. you got to give a lot of credit to the Cheyenne defensive front and their, their blitz scheme. They're bringing pressure and they're doing a great job of getting to the quarterback. Yeah, right, yeah, right. right. look at them all. <laughs> Short drop, looks, surveys the field, throws over the middle, touchdown! That's Kendrick Rice with the touchdown. And that was a well. Throw the ball to his initial read, and it wasn't there. And you can tell this is something that they worked on. Great reset by the minor quarterback, an accurate throw on the money, enough velocity to get it just in front of Chase Neal before he was able. They have some experience. Quarterback with experience, running back with experience, good offensive line. I'm sure there'll be some nice adjustments at halftime. Back to pass, Michael Williams was under center, rolls right, and he will be run out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And Miles is a guy coming into the game, you know, that Coach Sawyer is really high on. Hadn't had a lot of targets on offense, so he's trying to take advantage of this punt, but you got to look it in, you got to secure the ball before you can do anything else. And here's Cheyenne, Michael Williams, their best field position to 45-yard line. Of Sunrise Mountain, having just 37 seconds left in the half. Steps back, looking. He's going to throw deep over the middle. And this pass is intercepted. A beautiful interception. I guess who? Yes, Miles Janelle. And he's definitely trying to run this one all the way back. In. <laughs> they have really good hand eye coordination. I mean, this is a tough interception. Yeah. Over the shoulder. He high points it. He's got great. He's only a sophomore, too. So yes. A, a, a young talent that's only going to get bigger, faster, stronger, and become a better player. Breaks a tackle and uh, shows the athletic ability getting upfield.